Hi guys, so today we're having a look at a foundation from Makeup Academy. It's been a long time since I tried anything new from them, but I was in Superdrug, there was a free for two offer on, and this just caught my eye. So this is their Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation. I have the shade 101. Believe it or not, this is not the lightest shade. They do have a pure white, um, which is always going to be helpful as a mixer and things as well. So you get 30 mils, they're cruelty free, and it is five pounds. So I am wearing this today. Um, the bottle, if anyone's wondering, it is glass, um, just frosted glass, trying to look all matte. Um, so yeah, and I've got their website up to see what they're saying about their product. So they say it's a full coverage, long wear foundation with a matte finish formulated with vitamin E, it's paraben free and it blends easily for shine control that lasts all day. So we will of course be doing a wear test and seeing how it holds up throughout the day but for just now let's look at the application section. Right so as ever for foundation testing I'm going to prime half my face with my current primer which is the Mattify from Revolution. So, the right side is getting primed. And brush wise, I'm still loving this guy that I reviewed recently. So, that's what we will be doing today. So, this is one of those foundations that I'm not 100% how I feel about this style of packaging still. Um, where it's, it's not a pump, it's not just a pour bottle, it's got this weird spatula attached to the lid. Um, formula wise it looks really really thick. In the interest of being hygienic I am going to put some out onto my palette. Um, I might have bought too pale a shade but we will see. So let's zoom in just a little bit closer so we can see. So the very very thick formula which I like to see when it's supposed to be long wear and all that jazz. <laughs> so it is looking like a very dry formula. Um, so unless you have incredibly oily skin, this might not be good for you. Uh, I'm going to zoom you in and see if you can see what I mean. Like it's kind of slightly grabbing in areas. Are you guys picking up on that? No, because my camera can't zoom at it. So, yeah, if you have any kind of oily patches or, you know, acne kind of healing up, it looks like this might grab to that pretty badly. Um, let me get a wee bit more because that's just uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, let's see how this goes. To be fair, I have enough foundation in my collection. It would probably be good if this was one I was getting rid of. <laughs> That's not the attitude to go into a review with. Um, so, doesn't smell of anything, which is good. Um, sometimes cheaper foundations I find smell a bit funny. So that's nice. And, you know, I remember when I was younger trying to find pale foundation in the drugstore. It was an absolute nightmare. I'm so glad that, you know, having a comprehensive shade range has became more of like a judging point for brands. And they were thinking about it and just trying a bit more. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. So coverage wise, I would say this isn't too bad. It's not the fullest, but it's letting me build. And, you know, covered up my, my Rudolph nose quite well. But I've got quite a lot of kind of acne going on at the moment. So it's a good test for coverage. 
See, just think, if I flawlessly looked after my skin, we would never be able to see how well foundations cover spots. I mean, it's a service to let my skin go to, to hell. Um, no, it's not, and I need to behave. Um, okay. So now the problem is I've built up some areas and not others, and I look patchy. Okay, yeah, from a distance this looks pretty patchy and um, not nice. Do you know what I mean? I look kind of sick. Um, okay, concealer time. See if we can redeem this look, please. Um, although I can't do that much reliance on concealer or else I'm not really going to see how the foundation acts. <laughs> Okay, so under eye corrector as always because I did not get enough sleep last night. I was up watching Umbrella Academy. I finished the first season. I just binged it within this week. Which is the quickest way of a review saying I enjoyed that. Um, concealer. I'm just going to use the Revolution one again. I have been quite hooked on this lately, which is fine. Hmm. I just want to correct all my face, but that's not going to... Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Right. I'm going to quickly dab off the lip balm that I'm wearing so that I can go in around my mouth more. Uh, it is a plumping lip balm, so I definitely don't want to start blending that into my foundation, because that would be, um, it would be interesting. Okay, as much as I'm saying I can't rely on concealer, I also don't want to not conceal that. This little bit. This bit. This guy is pretty bad. Tiny bit at the tip of my Rudolph nose. Okay, I'm going to try and restrict it to that. Um, we'll see how that looks when it's blended out. Do, do, do. Because I have been going ham with this concealer because it's so good and it's just so chunky and it's just so easy to go ham with it. And, you know, but no, we're reviewing the foundation, we're reviewing the foundation, we're reviewing the foundation. So, I would say that looks much better now. Um, let's zoom in so you guys can see what we're finished with. I almost feel like it's settled down a little bit as well. Um, there is a lot of texture visible here. It's less visible on the primed side. I wonder if I can get rid of that. I'm still not getting rid of that. Okay, so if you have dry skin or kind of enlarged pores, it looks like this is going to grip quite um, obviously. You know, it's it's going to be visible. Oops. Um, so let's set this and I will get a timestamp and I will go and finish the rest of my makeup and my hair. Um, because I have wet hair just now, in case you hadn't noticed. Because my flatmate's still asleep and I'm being nice and considerate. I'm quite gutted. I was going to go for a really, really simple makeup look today, just with like really perfect skin, and I am not confident it's going to look like that for long. Um, so. Right. I went into Debenhams and I didn't buy more of this powder. I behaved. I'm being rational with myself. Okay, so I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup off camera. It is ten past ten, so we will see how this holds up. 
I'm not going to do a finished face check-in because to be honest it makes very little difference and I kind of want to dry my hair in between finishing some aspects of my makeup so I'll be back for a timestamp at some point. Right, check-in time. So it is five past three. So it's been four or five hours. Oh my God, I can't remember when I put this on. That's really bad. Um, anyway, you guys will know the answer, so that's fine. Um, so let's zoom in. <laughs> um, we've got, from a distance, you can see that we've got the slight sheen on the nose that us oily skin people will be used to. Um, we know it's the first thing to appear, um, but as you look closer, this foundation really isn't holding up very well. So it's kind of equal whether you're on the, you know, primed side or the non-primed side. Um, but kind of, if we go in for a proper look, it's really grouping into the pores. They're really, really, really obvious. Um, it's breaking down a little bit around my nose. Um, it went really claggy around here. Um, sorry, that piercing's a bit aggravated, so apologies for that. Um, and it, yeah, it's kind of yeah, this, is, this is not good. Oh, and look what happens if I do this on my forehead. Look how textured and awful that looks. That's really bad. Um, so I'm actually pretty much ready to call this. Um, I'll keep going with the wear test, but I know I'm not going to be reaching for it because I don't love the coverage and, you know, this just doesn't make me feel good about my skin. From a distance it looks fine, um, you know, and on camera with the lighting and things, but, you know, in person and when I can see it in a mirror, I can really see all those, like, blotchy bits that have worn off. God, that side's really bad. Um, and you know, the texture that's being emphasised. So, that's sad. I don't like that. Um, but I will continue with the wear test so we will see how it continues to hold up, just in case anybody is still interested in this. Right, so I'm back for another check-in. The last one was a five hour check-in. I've checked now. Um, we're now just past the eight hour mark because it's almost half six and we're just getting oilier um so let's zoom in and it's even making my lipstick a bit more ugh, because it's oh it feels like it's making my lipstick bleed more so still got this area where it's very worn away still very settled into the pores much oilier around the nose and uh, yeah, a bit broken down on the forehead. So this is definitely at the stage where I wouldn't be happy looking like this. I would want to fix it. Um, but also it just feels a bit icky. Um, so I've just got a dry makeup sponge here. They're quite good for soaking up oil and also kind of redistributing your foundation when it's, you know, needing some help. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I've lost quite a bit of the coverage. So, I mean, it claims to be long wear, which I'm, I'm not overly agreeing with. Um, it's going to be a matte finish, not for long. Because um, it says shine control that lasts all day. So five hour check-in, the oil was breaking through. Eight hour check-in, it was pretty slick. Um, so personally, I already know my opinion on this has not changed from earlier. I am going to put this into the goodbye category. Um, Lizzie's marks are packaging. I don't think these guys are hygienic. Um, it doesn't live up to the claims that it makes. And I just don't think it blended particularly nicely. So, yeah, basically if you have less oily skin than me, it might be okay. But if you have less oily skin than me, it's probably going to catch into any kind of drier, rougher patches, if you've got any of those. Um, you know, it's, it's just, 
just not quite working for anybody, is it? Because if you've got dry skin, it's almost too chalky and grabby. If you've got oily skin, it's not controlling it. So that's a shame because it was a nice shade range for drugstore. And it's been a while since I've seen Makeup Academy. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen Makeup Academy do foundation. It would pale enough for me. So... That's a sad, sad day. But anyway, it's £5, so basically if you're spending £5, go and get the matte base from Revolution instead. Slightly less product in it, but it's a bit more hygienic and it lasts. So that is my conclusion. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I know if I was watching this video, my question would be, what is your lipstick? And it is Mosh Pit from Urban Decay. I just bought it yesterday. It's absolutely beautiful. I want to wear all the time and yeah so I will catch you guys later. Bye.